Hey guys, welcome back. And we are doing... Uh, I think we're doing... Zill. Mobius wants us to go after another artifact on some dead world called Zill. Apparently they sent in a specialist team. But they lost contact with them two days ago. They're bad luck, I guess. Figure we'll get hazard pay for this one. Sounds good to me. So here's the deal. This place is a morgue. Whatever used to live in these ruins up and died millions of years ago. Before they went missing, the Mobius team reported artifact radiation emanating from that big old hunk of rock over yonder. They brought a big damn laser drill to burn the way in. Laser drill? That thing's a monster. If the Mobius team had access to that kind of hardware, Think about what could have wiped him out. Reckon we'll find out soon enough, partner. So this one, we get tons of tanks. And I think someone asked me now to do tank spam. And screw that guy, because I'm doing tank spam. <laughs> Everybody loves tanks. <clears throat> They're quite possibly the best unit. More fun than anything else. I love tanks. They're... I think I think in the whole series of StarCraft, it's just tanks I love because its siege mode is just so useful. Although they made tank useful, uh, tank mode useful in, in uh, StarCraft Two for a change, which was really nice. But you know, whatever. Watch your corners, boys. We don't know who cleaned this place out. Armed and ready. More Terran beings. The mysteries of this place are forbidden. You will pay for your transgressions there you with go. your lives. Okay. At least we know what happened to the other expedition. Affirmative. All right. Keep your shot. Let's keep going. Hold up there. Those Protoss cannons will tear us a new one if we try to advance. Swan, you promised me siege tanks. Where are they? Settle down, hotshot. They're coming. These babies will knock those cannons down from a nice, safe distance. Oh, these are so nice. And they just are going to keep just destroying these guys. Oh, man. Don't have to even do a thing. You know, it makes kind of sense that I would like them, you know. They kind of snipe a little bit. These new siege tanks work just like the old ones. When you put them in siege mode, they get increased range. They attack really fast, too. They can't move in siege mode, so if you need to reposition them, just switch them back into tank mode. You got it? Let's get some siege tanks deployed on the high ground. They can pound that Protoss stalker before it even gets close to us. Okay, this is going to be the bigger problem. Uh oh, no, no. Oh, fuck, I lost medic. Ah, uh, well, not a big deal. I don't really care much about medics anyways. I was trying not to lose any units, but, you know, whatever. We're done. Time to get to the base. Mobius base local net accessed. Decrypting security overrides. Transferring control of base structures to you, Commander. Fired up. 174 gigawatts. The power of the sun at your fingertips. Now get it aimed at that door and let's get cutting. Laser output is good. Drilling will take some time, but there's no other way into the temple. Sir, the Taldarim are mobilizing their forces against us. So we set a perimeter and protect the drill until we're through. I'm just glad we've got siege tanks. Ah, oh, so am I, believe me. Alright, let's get this started then. In the rear. Ah, and we're gonna do some pretty interesting defense choices here. Uh, first of all, bunker right up here. And bring this guy right here. Siege tanks. We need bunkers and siege tanks defending that laser drill. We got no chance of claiming the artifact without it. Yeah, it's uh, gonna be a little bit interesting. 
and hopefully I don't lag anymore. I, I tried to fix that for last time, and I just realized that uh, I didn't have this set to a rally point. He's not actually mining, I just noticed. Idle SCVs for the win. Okay. And just two Marines and a Marauder, I guess, in that one. And these guys will be there. This guy gets one more tank, because missing, missing Marauder. Sir, I've managed to access what's left of the Mobius Expedition sensor net. I'll route it through your map so you can see what the Taldarim are up to. And basically for this, uh, I mostly depend upon um, Mercs actually a lot more, and I just build from this thing, because it's just you know not a waste of money then, I feel. And this next one will go up there. And make you just like patrol between these two points, it's probably going to die actually really soon. Use it mostly for the sake of just uh, healing SCVs and stuff. Oh, there comes our first attack. As long as it attacks the bunker, the bunker is there for that reason. What's going on? Huh? You don't want them to. You don't want them to attack anything else but that. And now, now we have our uh, Hell's Angels as well, which is going to be coming real handy for this. And they're just going to get smoked on the way up here. Okay. Uh, I took a bit of damage. I guess we can start uh, bringing the uh, SCV just to scale in, in between the two bases. Oh, well, no repair stuff, obviously. Uh, okay, and now we're going to build our first uh, command center. <laughs> and basically, if you're wondering why I'm doing that, it's because I'm going to uh, build a bunch of planetary fortresses. Uh, well, just one at each base. Maybe two, I'll see. Depends how much money I have. And uh, that's basically how I'm going to defend this off. Uh, you don't have to do that strategy, but I found it to be extremely effective uh, in, this, in this scenario. But it's, it takes a while, and plus you have to have a bunch of gas, so might as well prepare for it. I'm going to need another supply depot. Or I could wait for that. Yeah, I'll get a supply depot. Although it's not really that far off, it's like 40 seconds. Ah, eh, no, screw that thing, then. I'll keep the money. Because they also give you supply as well, which is, happens to be extremely nice. Oh, yay, it's uh, a lot more forces here. Alright, we're gonna take them out. We're gonna go over here. Uh, the thing is, we don't want the Zealots actually to go too close. Ah, uh, here they come. Stim what you got. And where's that SCV I had here? There's one idling. There he is. Okay, get him out. We want to bring this guy right here. What's going on? And start building this planetary fortress. Hopefully they're not too close. Okay, we're still good. But we want to bring a guy here just to repair that. And build that planetary fortress immediately. I cannot stress that enough. You cannot wait. Oh, wow, I, I don't actually have a lot of uh, space here, I just realized. Just has, he has to go all the way around. Alright. And I usually build another supply depot here. You want to make you want to just make a nice wall. Spread out your siege tanks because there is a slight problem a little bit later on that you'll see. And other than that, you should be really good though. Uh, I think I need, yeah, you need about four on this one. Because that one's a little bit farther away. Okay, we're good now. You would desecrate that which belongs to the gods. This will not be borne by the faithful. Sir, those are Protoss Archons. If they get too close, our men won't stand a chance. I'm giving you manual control of the laser drill. See if you can use it against the Protoss. All right. You heard the man. Swing that laser around. We can use it to drive back the Protoss. I'm mainly targeting the uh, Immortals because they're actually the ones I'm worried about. The Archons are just going to get smoked by the amount of tanks I have. Base is under attack. Yeah, I think we're good for everything else. Oh, wow. Ooh, careful there. We got Meta came by. Wow, oh, just getting absolutely smoked. There you go. This this base is already done. This base defense is already done. All right, we're gonna pull this guy back just slightly. 
Uh, mostly just so we can build a bunker right here. And the reason I'm doing that is because... Uh, they're going to eventually bring in air and stuff. I'm not, like, no spoil, or, like, obviously they are. Okay. This might be a problem, though, because they're going to still do one more attack. I kind of don't want to bring them quite back quite yet. Yeah, okay, there we go. As soon as this one finishes, we'll, uh, we'll pull this all back. Okay, everyone unload. Salvage that. The laser drill has breached the door's outer layer. That's good. Okay, and start building supply depots. And planetary fortress immediately. Okay, that's pretty good. And we want two in there, and two in here. There you go. And that's going to ensure our survival. We also want to get the Hell's Angels, actually, we can do that right now, why not? Or A, it's A, I pressed B, luckily that doesn't actually do anything. Hell's Angels are incredibly nice for taking out air, which is why I decided on doing that. Don't need to, to use the laser. And they all get smoked. I don't think I lost a single guy. And we keep a nice spread so we don't have to worry about anything. Oh, well, I left some over here. My bad. And you can build one more supply depot. Okay, we are in very good shape right now. I, I like this so far. I actually haven't finished this mission. I did like halfway and I just said, eh, I'll do good enough. Eventually, we're going to have to bring some SCVs down. I'm not too worried about it right now. Sir, I'm picking up the energy signatures of several Protoss relics in the area. I'm marking them on your map. Okay. Now, I you don't have to actually build a starport. Well, there's time we can blast them free with a laser drill. I bet Stedman would love to study them. Yeah, I bet Stedman would. And Roderick could just hang out here. Okay, I'm gonna keep these SCVs the way they are. Okay. And you, normally what I do here is I, uh... Transformation I just, uh... Fire the laser at them. They can take a bit of, they can take a bit of damage. Yeah, we're still in good shape. And that's all the bunkers are for. Okay, let's get two uh, bunkers set up on each, uh, sorry, SCB set up on each area. One there, and one here. Oh, crap. Uh, okay, that bunker went down. Fall back. Okay, I might, might need to make that bunker a little closer. Like right there. Because there's a lot of those immortals. Immortals just wreak havoc on everything you have. Especially since, uh, in my case, I have a lot of, uh, uh, uh sorry, I have a lot of, uh, armored units, and so the, that's where the marines would actually come in handy, but, uh, I don't really build too many of them. There's another case where that might actually not work out too well. Maybe it would have been good to get that, that, those missile turret upgrades, but I can do it without. Alright, here I'm gonna just go down, pick it up. And get the hell out of here, because there's no point in fighting these guys. There really isn't. And we can get one more thing of uh, these guys. That's always nice. Uh, and the last one here, we'll go and get this one. That's kind of nice. Alright, and we can also now go get a armory if you want to, and uh, keep pumping out some more siege tanks. I guess we can now afford to get another factory. Might as well. And some attack upgrades. Oh, we get two levels of attack upgrades. Do we get another Hell's Angels yet? I guess I could go for hammer securities as well, but, you know, I, I don't think it's really deep is very necessary. This stuff is way better than you think of taking out these guys. And I'm just waiting for the next attack to come in. Alright, 
you could go right here. Yeah, they're just immortals again. Once again, they are the higher damaging units. Um, right now, I'm not too concerned about them wreaking serious havoc on what I have. And that's it. I have all the Hells Angels I can possibly get, which is also good. Alright, I think I, we're pretty good off here. Uh, you can just use it to target that. Right at this point, I'm just waiting now because uh, I, I don't actually want to engage them. Unless, uh, let's go upgrade vehicle plating first. There you go. The Marines help in this case as well. Oh, we we're running out of minerals too. And there's none behind us, I think. No. Yeah, we're waiting for that to upgrade. Eh, hey, we might as well just go right up here. Love tanks. Favorite unit. <laughs> I mentioned that already. So good. Uh, I guess I can get some hammer securities, why not? I have a lot of money. Oh, I ha don't have a lot of gas, though. It didn't even occur to me that I'm running out of that. Sir, more air units inbound. We gotta take them out. Or they'll keep dropping troops right on top of us. Is it good that I'm in front of the laser drill? Okay, and there's like a carrier and stuff that comes over here. We got like super range with this though. Look at that. It's just beautiful. Okay, looks like they took out my... What's going on? My thing right there. Maybe not. Oh, I don't think I mentioned this within the campaign yet, right. but uh, don't be afraid to save if you think you really need to. Um, yes, I don't, because I've played through most of this before. I don't think I'll have a problem. No you get you get all the upgrades, though, by the way. Uh, I think I just mentioned that, but I'm going to mention it again, just to stress how useful you can make these things. Okay. Let's just let this thing burn it all down, and then we'll go, uh, we'll go kill those immortals. You don't really need to, but I find them to be the biggest threat. Transformation system. You ready for war? Okay. Uh, oh, oh, wait. Get 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 the uh, get the high templar as well. They're also a, a rather large threat. I might as well go get that one too. Upgrade complete. Base. All right, let's just take out that, and then I think we could just go in there and, and just. Let's get into the fight. Yeah, they're like unpowered now. Very well. These guys do like 18 damage. They're insane. I love them. Uh, wow, we got a lot of upgrades. I'm gonna actually get another thing here. Uh oh, wait. Oh, you took out one of the Hell's Angels. Oh well. Or what are they called? Hell's Angel, yeah, they are. Exactly what their name is. Alright, uh, take out that immortal. And take out that guy who's gonna try and storm everything. Alright, good. We can just get that now. Uh, I think they're gonna lift off again, whoops. And then after that, it's we're pretty much done. There's no, there's nothing else we need. Uh, let's move this barracks over here. It's kind of in our way. A rather large defense here. Oh, he's almost on that too. Oh, and let's grab the blast relic. That one's this one's actually one of the easier ones. I really like this one. I'm just trying to make sure we're out of the way here, and then we get get ourselves repaired. And wow, that one medic is actually alive. I didn't expect that at all. Thermal barrier breached. The laser drill is now cutting through the core. They seek to befoul the legacy of the gods. Destroy them. Made for battle. <laughs> and then we get we get our air units over here just to take out any kind of uh, aggression we may have. There's also gonna be Colossus as well, like right there. It's gonna just take him out, might as well. Very well. Oh, let's just uh, take that out with the laser drill. Oh, oh, there we go. Oh, those, those are nasty. Oh, get out of here. Did we lose another one? No. I, I, I stopped paying attention for a second, so. 
we also lost one of our uh, uh, bunkers, so let's let's just move these guys out of the way. Oh, we can't do that. Yeah, let's just get these out of the way. Oh, wow. We're going to have to just move everything out of the way. Yeah, well, these are good. Yeah, it could be slightly problematic. There we go. We got him. And more. Wow, they're really trying to push in. And they're attacking above ground as well. Of course, you could use this to rebuild SCVs. I might as well. Fuck. Lost another one. I think I went ventured too far in. That was my bad. I wasn't paying attention to that. Whoopsies. Well, now we learned an important lesson. Where do those Marines go? Oh, they're there. There's another wave of air units heading your way. These guys just won't give up. Stick it to them, boys. I'm gonna actually remain here because of the fact that uh, there we are missing a missile turret here. All right, we got that one. All right, let's go get that last carrier there. Wow, they really did. They took out most of my stuff here. All right, let's go take out that. I'm like missing a lot of resources here. Uh, actually, these guys can go now, like over here. Yeah, we should be good now. Let's get into the fight. Oh, let's kind of bugger off here. I, actually, I'm not too worried about immortals anymore. We're just screw them. We'll keep the we'll keep these guys here though. Oh dear God! No, no, it's gonna go down. Oh, there we go. Oh, it, it kills the SCVs. Damn, that sucks. So the only time you should get worried is when the, your uh, planetary fortresses go down. But you know that's why we're using planetary fortresses. They they really like to stay up. Just have a bunch of backup SCVs. You're noticing that right now. I'm like losing a lot of SCVs, but however the mining is completing for most of the stuff. So at the same time we're doing pretty good. I kind of stopped building tanks I noticed, but you know, we're kind of near the end here so it's not that big of a problem. Uh, let's, let's go take out that guy. That's kind of nice. Very well. So use the use the drill if you want to. Uh, don't have to. These guys don't even have extended thermal lenses either, so it's not, they're not nearly as deadly as you think. Yeah, we're at we're at our last ten thousand here. That looks cool as hell, though. I gotta say the graphics are really nice for this game. Yeah, we're almost out of money. Damn. <laughs> Tons of tanks. Oh, I did. I, I bought. I made all this too, and I didn't even use any of this. You can see, I, I, I didn't even use half of the stuff that was given to me, and I still did pretty well out of this. All thanks to Planetary Fortresses. I think that medic finally died, though. Yeah, she definitely did. I guess I could rebake her. Game doesn't lag. So I'm going to talk about it until the end of time. And more Colossus. Damn. Oh, there's a Templar in the mix there. I would... Honestly, like to get rid of most of those guys. Uh, that's gonna be trouble. What's that? Armed and give us your I can already shot. tell. Uh, if I could focus down some of those Templar, I would. I would gladly oblige. Oh, look at that! They fucking storm that. Holy shit! Okay, well, let's get. Each of the doorway core is in there. Structure access in It is our sacred duty to stop these required. Burn them to action. Oh, planetary fortress finally went down. 
came at just the right time, it seems. I guess that's why I should have had two. Oh, our tanks will still stop them. Hopefully. Yeah, there we go. You have to fail for now. Word of this sacrilege will echo across the stars, James Raynor. The day of reckoning draws near. These artifacts appear to seem real popular, Tychus. What do we care? As long as the pay is good. Really? I'd say getting vaporized by the Tal Dream definitely counts as diminishing returns. Ah, nobody cares about the Tal Dream. So, this is some of the challenges. You kill 20 enemies units with a laser. Uh, easy as hell. Uh, you can, like, even queue it up so it just destroys everything. Uh, you can also destroy 15 protoss structures in the dig. Which is, uh, you just kill a lot of things with the drill as well. You just get sight on some of the buildings and you just start destroying them on hard. And make sure you have a good defense to back it up. But I wasn't going for either of those. I think the, I think the, the building one is actually pretty difficult if you don't know what you're doing. Takes a couple of times on your first try. You show up out of nowhere. Time is oh. short. You must understand. The answers you seek lie within. Study it well. The fate of creation hangs in the balance. Nice to see you too. Ehan crystals before. Supposedly they allow you to relive another person's memories. But if Zara tools uncovered, he was desperate for me to see it too. Well, there goes nothing. Okay. Oh, well, there's a crystal. And we have new research. <clears throat> oh yes, new research. Oh, I love this research. This one's really good. Yes, because we got three, and we either get um, getting gas 25% faster, or supply depots are built in instantly. This is this this one is shit. Unless you like totally crappy at like getting supplies, you're getting supply blocked all the time. No, do this one. This one is just so much better for gas intensive uh, units as well. Oh man. It's so nice. Right, let's check out the artifact. I'm pleased to see these things haven't blown up the ship yet. Uh, sir, given the visual similarity between the various pieces, have you considered that they might combine to create a larger, more distinct object? With everything else going on, Stephen, I couldn't care less what they do. Just that we get paid when we finally hand them over to the Mobius boys. All right. Hey, it's a pro sticking gun. <laughs> he wants to shoot it out of the airlock. Swan does. 
That's fun. Alright, let's, uh, let's go check out what everyone has to say. We're gonna check out the Crystal Lull later. <clears throat> so now we've got three of these artifacts on my ship. When are we supposed to hand these damn things over? They got their hands full right now. The Zerg are about to invade Tirador, where Mobius' main research center is. I don't reckon we'll hear anything from them until they relocate somewhere safe. Wonderful. This is Donnie Vermillion, live from UNN. Tonight, the Zerg invasion, the battle so far. The Terran Dominion is holding firm under Zerg aggression. Our industrial complex has stepped up production on all fronts. Enlistment rates have risen within the penal system, and the Marine Corps is ready to get in the fight. The Zerg won't know what hit them. Donnie, has there been any word on when we start pushing the aliens back? Kate, if I revealed that, I'd be giving away vital Dominion secrets. You think the Zerg watch our broadcast? I know they do, Kate. I know they do. Well, you heard it here first, folks. This is Kate Lockwell for UNN. Aha. Uh -huh. Had any visitors lately? I don't know what you're talking about, Tosh. Oh, I think you do, James Rayner. Something was on this ship just now. I still smell it on you. Portos. Interesting. Whatever you think you know, you just keep it to yourself. I hear you yapping about this, and I'll toss you out the airlock. <laughs> wow, James isn't fucking around. You ain't gonna believe this, but I just saw Zeratul on the ship. Uh, how much did you have to drink tonight, sir? He was here, Matt. And he was hurt. On the run from something. Where is he now, sir? I don't know. But he ain't on the ship anymore. He gave me an Eon memory crystal, and he was desperate for me to study it. I guess he wants me to see what he's seen. All right, to the armory. We're rocking some serious heavy metal now that we got siege tanks. Yes, sir. The comforting thunder of the big guns. Well, comforting when they're on our side. Yeah, these newer tanks have better guns when they're on the move. And reinforced armor. So long as they still got the range in siege mode, the rest is just gravy. Between siege tanks and bunkers, we can hold the line against just about anything. Oh, here's a tank. Let's check this out. Love tanks. <laughs> That's great. So, he's got an upgrade from the original siege tank. Superheated tungsten in a 50% larger area. Uh, that's, that stuff's nice. Alright, armory console then. <clears throat> okay, so we only get vehicles now. So we get Maelstrom Storm, which is, uh, wow, these get pretty expensive. Uh, tanks are, though, amazing. Uh, which is why I would probably want to do this. It just destroys. And Shape Blast is, uh, less damage against friendly targets. Um, which is extremely expensive. I'm not going to go into that quite yet, but I'm going to get that one, definitely, because tanks I do use as defense all the time. And back to the cantina where we see mercenaries. Let's get down to business. And one of the mercenaries you do get are the siege breakers. More health, more damage, and they're very good. Very, very good. You always get them. If you don't get this or this or this or whatever, you at least get this every time. I think it pretty much covers all of that. What I want to get for today. So uh, we'll see you next time. Have a good day.